Whether you have roots in Korean culture, you're a K-pop or K-drama lover, or you just want to know more about Korea in general, a great place to start is by learning the language. Language apps are a great way to do so, but there are a ton of choices out there, right? That's why we researched and compiled a list of 10 of the best Korean learning apps out there. Out of all the apps we researched, we liked Drops the best. This app claims, you have only 5 minutes per day to learn Korean. Might sound insane but works like a charm. The 5-minute sessions are designed to make learning effortless and addicting through games and illustration. If you prefer different modes of learning, check out the rest of our list and our buying guide to find the right app for you. The first product on our list is Lingo Deer. Pros. Offers a rounded curriculum on vocab, grammar, speaking slash listening skills, and reading skills. Comes with additional features like flashcards, grammar notes, and quizzes. Events promote learning and community. Cons. Requires subscription after one free lesson. This app takes a typical classroom language learning curriculum and puts it into a fun app. It's perfect for self-learners who are seeking interactive ways to study. The courses provide learning tips, 2-5 to five lessons, vocabulary, pop quizzes, and stories. However, after one free lesson, a membership is required to access the rest of the content. Overall, reviewers say this app offers a well-rounded approach to learning Korean. They like that the lessons are fun, and some users report that they are learning very quickly. Reviewers also like the learning tips in each lesson, saying this information helps them be extra prepared. The second product is Hello Talk Foreign Language Exchange. Pros. Communicate with native speakers and language enthusiasts. The combination of lessons and social media creates an immersive experience. Text-to-speech and translation functions expedite communication. Cons. Notifications can be buggy, according to reviewers. Can potentially receive incorrect guidance from other users. This app utilizes a social media approach to help you improve your Korean skills. While the primary features are the language partners and photo sharing, the app also has a podcast, live classes, 5-minute vocabulary practices, and news articles. Many of the app's criticisms are about fixing bugs and occasional bad experiences with other people using the app. However, most reviewers say its social media aspect is very effective and fun, noting that they are exposed to many useful words. Plus, many users report they have made friends on this app. The next product is Drops, Learn Korean Plan B Labs U. Pros. No keyboard necessary. Uses illustrations for visual learning. Available on web browser. Cons. Strict 5-minute limit with 10-hour recharge. Focus is limited to vocabulary and alphabet. The addictiveness of games and the reward of learning combine to make this great beginner's app. It teaches vocabulary with images, so you won't rely on your native language. There's a 5-minute time limit for studying, where you get to do a variety of game-like exercises. For example, you can swipe to match words and images. If you want more study time, you can buy more time, watch ads, or refer friends. Some people wish that the free version had a longer time limit or that 10-hour reload time was shorter. However, reviewers like the way it tracks your progress. They also say that this app helps them consistently and quickly learn vocab and is fun to use. The next product is Eggbun Education Company, Limited. Pros. Vocabulary lists have audio pronunciations for accurate learning. Culture notes give specific language advice for travel. Live Chatbot gives 24-hour advice. Cons. One lesson a day can be used. If you've ever wanted your own personal Korean tutor, consider this app. The live chatbot guides you through lessons about reading, writing, vocab, and speaking just like a personal tutor would. This app also has an entire section about Korean culture and useful tips. Some reviewers mention having issues downloading or using the premium version. However, overall, 
Many users like the interactive nature of the chatbot, Lani. Specifically, many users enjoy being able to learn at their own pace. They especially recommend this app for beginners, saying the content is easy to understand. The next product is Korean Lessons Plus Technical Data Freeway. Pros. Comprised of 10 units with 25 to 30 lessons within. The use of PDFs, podcasts, and videos provide repetitive learning. Offline mode allows for learning on the go. Cons. Only available on iOS podcasts can get off topic, according to reviews. This app has material for beginners and advanced learners alike. It's full of podcasts, Hangul lessons, grammar lessons, video content, and PDF files. The app seems to be in the process of improving its interface, so there are some bugs at the moment. Some reviewers mention issues with accessing the PDF files. However, users are very happy with the amount of content, saying it's a great app for learning many aspects of Korean. They especially like how the PDF files help visualize the information and the plethora of podcasts. The next product is Infinite Korean Journal. Pros. Romanization toggle provides difficulty adjustments. The use of icons and audio clips allow for learning without your native language. Vocab lists cover a wide variety of subjects. Cons. Single game type can get repetitive. Vocab lists focus on basic terms. This app utilizes an addictive, fast-paced game to teach a comprehensive amount of vocab. It encourages the acquisition of language without the assistance of your native tongue, by using images and offering the ability to turn off romanization. Some reviewers complain that the sound sometimes stops working, which makes the game difficult to play. However, many reviewers rave about the game's effectiveness, saying it's especially beneficial for beginners. They also appreciate the large amount of free content. The next product is Tuida. Pros. Video recording means lessons can be done at any time. AI pronunciation analysis gives immediate corrections. Conversations are based on realistic scenarios, including travel. Cons. The video player can be difficult to work with. Lessons demonstrate conversations, not grammar practices. Rather than teaching basic phrases like I am a boy, this app teaches you first-person conversations you can use in real life, giving you plenty of practical speaking practice. Practicing Korean with a native speaker can be nerve-wracking, so this app utilizes an AI pronunciation grader to judge your speech. It is an excellent way to start practicing without feeling embarrassed. Some reviewers wish previous lessons were available to view for reviewing purposes and dislike the number of ads in the free version. However, many users like that this app lets them speak without fear of mistakes. They also appreciate the engaging videos and interactive lessons. The next product in our list is Duolingo. Pros. Leaderboards for both local friends and strangers around the world. Recurring characters adds a story-like element to the lessons. Podcasts and stories for additional learning. Cons. Can't be used in horizontal format. Does not teach the Korean alphabet. In this app, Korean is taught in small amounts using a variety of exercises. The interactive lessons cover grammar, speaking, and vocabulary, and the content is geared towards beginners. However, it does not teach Hangul, or Korean characters. This app is also incredibly user-friendly and shows you your progress as you go. Some users are unhappy with the way the app punishes wrong answers. Some reviewers also note issues with the accuracy of the automated audio. However, many users enjoy the fun and quick lessons, saying that this app is a great companion to other language tools. Many also note that it's excellent for casual learners. The next product in our list is Learn Korean Hangul Alphabet Luli Languages. Pros. Teaches the traditional classroom style of writing Hangul characters. Operates without internet connection. Personalized review lessons target problem characters. Cons. 
Only available on iOS no repeat button on the audio version. This app focuses on helping people learn how to write Hangul, the Korean alphabet. The major feature of this app is that it doesn't let you progress unless you write the letters properly, ensuring that you learn them correctly. You can complete the free levels or pay to unlock all of the content. Many reviewers appreciate the app's strict grading, saying it helps them learn. They also really like being able to practice writing the characters in the correct stroke order. Plus, they say they also get to learn Korean phonics. The next product in our list is Learn Korean Phrasebook Codigent. Pros Audio recordings from native speakers can be sped up or down. Phrases target common sayings used to navigate daily life in Korea. Phrasebook can be downloaded for offline access. Cons No formal lessons. Half the content is behind a paywall. This is a travel-specific app geared towards helping you navigate your first time in Korea as smoothly as possible. The app is separated into categories, such as greetings, eating out, and tongue twisters. You can adjust the audio speed to your liking. Certain sounds can slur together in Korean, so this speed feature is incredibly useful. Some reviewers feel that the free version of the app lacks content. However, many reviewers say that it's fun to use, noting that the user interface is easy to navigate. They also confirm that it has helpful phrases for traveling. Do you think this list makes sense? Leave a comment for us. You can find the product link in the description of the video. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel to keep up with the latest reviews.